We hope to inspire, inform, and entertain you because that's what we do here at News Talk WSIC. I am Joe Vagnone. This is Local Biz Now, where your business matters. Y- you know, every week that I mention I have a YouTube channel, go to Joe Vagnone YouTube channel, uh, excuse me, Joe Vagnone Business Broker YouTube channel. Every week I mention it, I get another subscriber. Yay! So uh, <laughs> go to uh, Joe Vagnone uh, Business Broker uh, YouTube. We have over 645 videos there, interviews, and a bunch of information. It's an exceptional job. I wish I could take credit for it. Only thing that's mine is the name. Other than that, it's all the contributors that have helped with this uh, uh, radio show over the years. And my co-host for the entire month is no exception. She might even have her own section by now. We call (laughs) her number one because she is number one in our hearts. And she is my first phone call when I've got a question that has to do with business. By now, if you've listened to this show at all, you know her name is Cherie DeMeo. She is the owner and founder of Biz Growth Inc. She is a maestro COO on call, creating high performance strategies for exponential growth in business value. Cherie, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Oh, we got the clapping oh, down pat it. now. Thank you. We got we got we got JoJo in there doing the board, That's and he's awesome. trying to make up for his poor performance. Many years ago, so now we're making up. You the man, Joe. You the man. You the man. man. So, uh, Cherie, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it as always. So, uh, refresh my uh, and all of the listeners' memories. What is Biz Growth Inc. all about? What Biz Growth Inc. is all about is we are about helping entrepreneurial enterprises, privately held companies, small to medium sized businesses. Uh, grow in value, worth, and preference. So what I mean by that is uh, it's not just about the dollar signs of value. It's about uh, having such reputation, having such credibility, having such presence that customers value you and can't imagine going anywhere else. Uh, employees can't imagine working for anywhere else. Vendors can't imagine being aligned with anyone but you. The industry can't imagine the industry without the innovation or the integrity that the company brings to the industry. And the marketplace can't imagine because this these companies are making a difference in big and small ways uh, in the communities in which they are uh, operating from, even if they're global in, in and, presence. And let me let me give you an example of that for, for those of you that, that want to put that into a perspective. I, I asked Harit to help me years ago. Mm-hmm. I'm embarrassed to say how long it was. It five, six years ago? I don't remember. Oh, no, that... it's probably been about 15 years ago. Has it been yeah, that long yeah, ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so, gosh, we're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting old. Um, and... I made a, I got a referral from a banker that had retired, mm-hmm. and it was a client, and sent me an email and said, I'd like to talk to you, referred to you by Ed. And the conversation was probably less than 30 minutes, and I could tell this guy had already been told by somebody that Joe's the man, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And at the end of the conversation, he said, boy, whoever told me you were the real deal was right. <laughs> And you remember, you gave me that, right? Yes, I did. And so yeah. we've been pushing that, Julie and I, for years, and it absolutely rings true mm-hmm. that once you define what you are and it connects with the client. Oh, absolutely. I mean, real deal only works because Joe's been through it, right? right. You, you, you know what right. I mean? Right, um, But that, when, when you get the marketing and then the operation on the same page, mm-hmm. the sales get a whole lot easier. Oh, they sure do. Operations is... So often businesses are operating and marketing totally void from each other in silos. And while a business will operate on a day-to-day basis, they don't necessarily market on a day-to-day basis and everything should be systemized or they stop or they or they're marketing like crazy but they're not operationally in sync with their marketing and then they fall flat on their face because or they don't deliver what they say they're going to the deliver. The expectation of yes. the client yes. doesn't meet what the marketing is presenting. Exactly. That's a huge huge problem. Yeah. And and that's why uh, you know customer service, customer relations, I call that um income 
sustaining, all right? We all know it takes it takes a lot less dollars and time to keep a happy customer happy, right? And, and, and that gets at the operational aspect. That gets at your corporate culture. That gets at how efficient and effective and attentive, and I could just go on and on. Right. That's all operations. Right. That's all operations. Right. That's what's going to keep them wanting to stay with your company. Right. And, and again, these are, and I've said this a hundred times every time you're on the, it's something you taught me. I should say you beat it into me, <laughs> right? You, you forced me yeah. to learn this lesson. Right. Yes, yes. Be because most of us small business people just saw ourselves as marketing something we needed to do, mm -hmm. not that you really should be marketing what you are absolutely exceptional at. Yes, absolutely. You should be exceptional there, and be then exceptional. market that. Be exceptional and then market that. And then make sure your operation supports every aspect of that to the nth detail, to the nth detail. So, um, one of the things I really like about what you do is you you don't just speak these terms you really do the research to make sure that that when you say joe's the real deal it's because that's what you yes. came to that conclusion right, right it right. wasn't just a a sexy you know tagline yeah, right right talk a little bit about the research that you do on we've only got about a minute and a half but but that research is really important well it's part of a non-negotiable and working with strategically with clients uh, you can't operate on assumptions you must operate on validated information and not, and there's a difference between validation and proving. You can prove whatever you want, but if you're just trying to prove what you think versus what really is the case, you're, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face, so to speak. And so really validating what makes you unlike anybody else as a business, as, as a business owner, uh, even the people within. So that's the key. And, and you can't do it without getting information from those you're trying to attract and right. serve. And it really does help that it comes from a third party. Yes, right? it does. Because I could not see the forest through the trees. Well, and I've got, I know we have to go on break, but I got a great story to follow up on that okay. when we come back. We come back, we'll do that. Okay. Jojo, yeah. how much time we got? 20 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, we got 30 seconds. I got, I got plenty of time. <laughs> you are listening to Local Biz Now. I am Joe Vagnone, where you're Business Matters. I'm here with Cherie DeMeo, the founder, master, maestro, COO, <laughs> On Call, Biz Growth, Inc. If it is Monday afternoon, your business matters. We'll be right back.